So we didn't know if the story was actually true. The um, I think Tara told us about it, one of his daughters. And, it, and so we, we dug uh, through the pond. And wow. you can tell they're different, but wow. we got a tell we got from the pond? Buckets, but we yeah. just got a few to display. That's um, crazy. Is that the funny story? That that's hilarious. Is. I mean, I try that, but my, my mom says that we have a good dishwasher. Oh, right. I like, I use it. <laughs> so my next story is going to do with that gentleman right over there in that picture, Mr. Johnny Cash, eating something he should not be eating, which is a piece of cake. Um, when June was with him and around him, she would have him to the letter on everything good to eat. But as the saying goes, when the mom is away, the kids will play. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's how this story starts. Um, John called up Tommy, his brother, and says he, he's not able to drive anymore. His eyesight's going. He's, mm. His diabetes is in full flare. But he calls up Tommy, and this story comes from Tommy, so I love this story. He's a cheeky old man. Oof. And uh, anyways, he said, hey, hey, brother, I need you, you come get me. We need to go to the Walmart. Oh, John, what do you need to go to the Walmart for? Doesn't matter. Just come get me. I need to go to Walmart. Well, Tommy thinks about it for a minute and says, oh, June's in New York. You want ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> John says, never mind what he wants, what I need at Walmart. I said, I just need to go. Come get me. He says, all right, John. Right, right. I'll come get you. Well, John comes out and he says, you know, you know Tommy, I'm not feeling too good today. I think I'm going to try and disguise myself. He's a very big man. We're not yeah, disguising Johnny right, Cash. Right. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, he goes upstairs and he just did The Simpsons. I don't know if you all remember when he did The Simpsons. He was, it was a coyote, he remember. was a voiceover coyote for mm -hmm. like a really psychedelic Simpson. It was weird. But anyway, he just got a bunch of swag from The Simpsons. So he went upstairs and as he came down, he had a hot pink, bright pink. No, that's Bart not Simpson. Draw any attention. <laughs> bright, yeah. Bart Simpson hat. He had the neon pink Bart Simpson shirt. He had the Homer Simpson pajama bottoms right, and the Homer go. Simpson slippers. He was the first person at Walmart, y'all. He had to have been. <laughs> Tommy took one look at him and said, okay, and off we went. He said they got to um, Hendersonville Walmart, and they walked in, and of course, everybody under the sun has recognized that Johnny Cash is now in the building. John doesn't care. He's on a mission. He walks straight back to the ice cream, and he gets four gallons of ice cream. Oh, to which Tommy says, John, what do you need four gallons of ice cream for? Well, she's going to be gone for three days. <laughs> John, you're going to get me in so much trouble, he says. So he takes his ice cream proudly, and he gets ready to go to the cash register, where the girl at the counter is shaken to the bits. Oh, my gosh, I have to check Johnny Cash out. I would be the same way. <laughs> and uh, so he walks up to the girl and says, hey, pretty lady, do you take cash? <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Cash, we take cash. You know, made her giggle a little bit, made her calm right down. She was able to do this transaction. Well, now almost all of Hendersonville has filed into the front of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so John takes his bag of ice cream, he looks at it, he says, all right. And he goes over to where, you know, you keep your bags of ice, and he puts it in there. And he met and greeted with all of those people for three and a half hours. Oh, my wow. gosh. So... A lot of time goes by, he's still not getting his ice cream. <laughs> so after the end of that, he, he gets all that done. He gets his ice cream proudly and starts walking to the car. And he notices there's a gentleman sitting on the ground next to Walmart. He again hands his ice cream over to his brother and says, just go get in the car. And he goes and he sits down with this gentleman. Now, mind you, he is in his best mind right now. He has been traveling with um, Billy Graham. He is in his Christian. He is in his Bible. He is glory to God. So whatever he had to say to this gentleman, I'm sure was profound. They said Johnny Cash was a very quiet man, but if he had something to say, he had better listen. So don't know what the conversation was, but like I said, I'm guessing it was pretty good. And at the end of the conversation, he reached in his pocket, pulled out a wad of cash. Don't know how much it was, but I know in Johnny Cash, it wasn't chump change. Um, and he got back into the car and Tommy was furious. Now, what do you think he's going to do with that money? Do you think he's going to buy drugs with that money? Do you think he's going to get alcohol? What do you think he's going to do with that money? He's like, well, I don't really care what he does with the money as long as he makes it through another night. I did my job as a human being. Right. Yeah. Just shows you what a class guy yeah. he can be. You know, he did a lot of crummy things, but he also did a lot of things. And you don't want to him with that outfit? There is a picture <laughs> of that outfit. I'm dying for someone else to come through this tour and actually bring me a picture of that. But Tommy does have a picture of it. Uh, but he won't let me have it. He says, I can't do that to my brother. But I have asked Tommy, when he passes, if I could get the picture. And he says, we'll see, little girl, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so him and uh, Tommy and I have a lot in common. His wife is about my age. 
Ooh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's very interesting, but there you are. <laughs> Yeah. And this sounds like Mark Allen. Years? Yeah, and Mark Allen Cash, which um, who comes out and performs a lot here. He, that's Tommy's. That's Tommy's. Right. We'll get y'all to come on in.